Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Educational Code Forces Round 144 and we're gonna solve the problem of asterisk minor template. So uh, the problem is very simple, not gonna go for the story, we just jump straight to the problem. So everyone knows what a regular expression is, right? So this problem is like we have to produce a regular expression that is a bit modified version of it. So uh, for example, uh, we are using only star here, okay? So C star T c asterisk t and star has the properties to match zero characters one character or more character any number of characters it can match so c star t can match c t c star t can match c a t or c star t can match anything like c s s u t anything but it can't match something like u c a t or anything like that c should be starting t should be ending like that but star ct can match something like ct and uh, wherever star is there you can put any number of characters and match it so that's all uh, so in the question they are telling that we will be given two strings that is a and that is b let's assume that the two strings are b z z and uh, b uh, x z x or something like that so uh, what how can we write a regular expression here you can simply write b starting with b and you can simply put star right and also you can write like b z star both of them will match b can match z can match and star can match both b and star can match everything in the question they asked that you will be given two strings and you need to create a regular expression such that the regex should be the number of asterisk in the regex should be less than or equal to number of letters what do i mean by that the number of stars here is how much one which is less than or equal to b what is b here uh, one right number of letters so this is a valid regular expression let's try for b z star number of stars here is one this is less than or equal to number of letters is two so this is also a valid expression so that's what they are telling so something like uh, for example uh, let's say you are having a string like code forces and also you have a string like add coder all right now uh, there are numerous number of regular expression you can create right you can create something like star c star you can create this because star will match everything here and uh, c will match this and star match everything here star null c matches and star everything but also you can create something like star code star this is also a valid regular expression star matches null here code matches this and star matches forces now again below star matches at code matches this and star matches r okay or you can also keep like star c star d star like any format lot of things but the only catch is the number of stars should be less than the number of the alphabets so out of this which is valid this is not valid but this is valid right four letters are the number of stars are less here number of stars are more so this is also not valid now um let's see example on how to they solve it so this is the overall problem uh, let's try to understand it but before moving that uh, if you are preparing for placements or any data structures or algorithms you might think that there is one famous problem that is in dynamic programming and recursion you might have came across this problem that is called as uh, longest common substring and uh, you might think that okay let's take that code and apply it here you can get the substring that is longest common substring present and just put stars in between then it will work so uh, believe me you don't have to uh, you, you should not find the question that much hard because it's a B level problem and you can also see the constraints the constraints are like uh, only till 50 and you don't have to apply that logic here it should be done with observation but we don't know we may have to apply but let's see what they uh, want to tell in the output so something like a a b and z z b what is the valid regular expression obviously it is b should be at the end and this should be star right star b so star b means uh, there is one star one is less than or equal to number of characters b so one is less than or equal to one that is possible and code forces or add coder what did they give we got many they gave a star co star is star co star valid because two stars are there less than or equal to two characters two less than or equal to two is possible star co star is also possible and two less than or equal to four here star this is also possible if there are multiple answers you can print any so uh, this is also possible now if you notice one thing in the first problem they kept star b right 
they did not do any computation here we just directly told star b how did we directly tell we understood that at the end both of the characters are same if both of the characters are same if one character is same here at the end we can simply stay as star right star b so uh, let's say something like uh, same example we can take if it is like b c c b d a we can simply put b star if it is like uh, x z and y z you can simply put star z so if any string that starts with the same character same character you can simply put the character and star if any string that is ending with the same character you can put the character and the star so this is one observation so if any so we got this and for b star now let's take a little bit further let's try for two characters two characters what are all the possibilities it can be something like c star d star c star d C D star and uh, star C D like many many combinations. Uh, I mean many combinations can come. Star C D star. Let's stop this here. Can we have C D star? Okay. Can we have C D star? We don't have to do it because it matches the first character C, right? If something like C D A and C D B comes, we can directly say C star, right? So we don't have to consider this condition at all. We can directly say C star. star cd we don't have to consider this because according to this logic if it ends we can simply put star d so this also we don't have to consider this is also valid but we don't have to consider c star d this also same either you can put c star alone or d star alone you don't have to consider this c star d star this is also not needed so only thing that is valid for uh, two characters is star cd star two characters should be common between both it can be c d e f or e c d e f or something like that so c d star matches e f and c d star matches e f so if both characters are there then for one character we found out if it is in the starting or ending we can find that and if any two characters come in the middle we can just say that uh, the number we can just simply put stars and put two characters these two characters will match and whatever be the boundary characters will get but you might have one more doubt and some more doubt that uh, what if uh, it is in something like uh, middle so middle means it can be star and here also it can be i mean uh, this is like a is acid and uh, this can be something like uh, d y okay so what is the regular expression here you match c a should be matched so put star what is here i d right i d you can't match anything so you need to put star then d so i you kept it as star this d got matched and uh, this d also got matched and y also you need match you need to put star so you found the difference if this is the case the number of stars are more than the number of characters so in this case this is not a valid regex at all so for two characters since i covered everything this is the only valid regex that is possible that is wherever you find a common two characters adjoined to each other in both the strings then you simply take that string and take star cd star this will be same for all three characters also let's prove it for three characters that is abc means you don't have to consider abc like this you can just take ab together and simply put star and star or bc together or simply put star and star so this is the beauty of it so if it starts from it take the character and put a star if it ends with it put star and, and take the last character and uh, if there are two uh, if there are two strings uh, the only exception that can come other than the single ones are uh, this one that is see uh, take two common adjacent elements and put star star in the end so uh, to understand this i i'll just uh, walk you through the solution so this is the solution number if you want you can refer to this now let me go back to the whiteboard so what did i do i just took the sizes of both the strings now i just uh, checked whether the adjacent characters are same a's character and b's character are same and a's next character and b's next character are same if they are same i am just uh, uh, assigning it to first and second and coming out of the loop and if it is not empty string i am just printing star first second star else what did i tell you if the first character is same i'll put the first character and star if the second character is same i'll put the star and the sorry if the last character is same i'll put star and the last character else there is no other possibility so that we have proved it and that's it guys thank you so much see you in the next video